Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog at stampwithelaine.com. Today I have a triangular box to hold Hershey Kisses. Um, this is the box from the top, that's from the side and that's the bottom. I'm using some dies which are quite old and that I've forgotten about and these are the Ornate Frames dies. You can find it on page 164 of the annual catalogue for May 2021 to April 2022. I also revisited the Stitch Triangles dies on page 166. These are the triangular dies and I'm using the largest of the equilateral ones which will fit on this box and I just trimmed off the stitched detail so that it would be a nice fit for the box base. These are the ornate frames dies and the one I'm using is this one. I used the Whimsical Trees Bundle. This word here joy and from the die set I used the two whimsical tree dies mossy meadow ink I also used the 2021 to 2023 in color jewels and the elegant trim gold and silver cord I'm using the silver one for the box base I'm using 10 and 5 eighths by three and a half piece of mint macaron cardstock in metric that measures 27 centimeters by 10 centimeters bring in my scoreboard on the long side score at three and three eight inches six and three quarter inches and ten and one eighth inch in metric that will be 8.5 17 centimeters and 25.5 centimeters rotate your card so stop so that the short end is at the top and you score each end at one inch so rotate it 180 degrees and score the other end at one inch so in metric that would be 2.5 centimeters on each end burnish the score lines with a half inch score line to your, to your right, you want to cut down this bit here, right at the corner there, and do the same for the opposite side. So it now looks like this. Then you want to mitre the corner here. Fold that and I'm going to cut that at an angle. Up to that first score line there. Okay, so you get a V shape. Fold that over again. And repeat so you get another V shape. And then Fold that back and follow that line. And to decorate the box lid, you have a strip of mossy meadow, and this measures ten and a half by seven eighth inches, and in metric that's twenty seven centimeters by two centimeters. Then for the designer series paper, um, this has been cut at. Ten and a half, same length, but it's narrower, um, and this is three quarters of an inch. So it's uh, twenty-seven centimeters by one point five centimeters in metric. So apply adhesive to this strip here. I'm applying glue as I go along because it's such a long strip and I don't want to glue it on crooked. So next I want to glue this onto here. So I'll make sure that um, it's within the line and it doesn't go over the line. 
and blew it so that there is an overhang like so okay then turn it over and cut off the surplus And you need three mat layers uh, in mossy meadow and these measure one and three eighths by three and a quarter and in metric that will be three centimeters by eight centimeters three pieces in whimsy and wonder one and a quarter inches by three and one eighth inches this is 2.5 by 7.5 in metric Now we want to die cut our equilateral triangle from this three and a half by three and a half piece of mossy meadow cardstock. In metric that's 9.9. .9. So I'll go and cut that off camera and I'll be back. So you see the stitched edging on this triangle. I'm going to trim that away. Now I can join the pieces together. So put adhesive on here, fold that back, pinch it together making sure that it's lined up and hold it for a second until it buns. Next put the flaps down. Um, if, if you find that you haven't cut that as, as at sharp an angle as it should go then you can just trim a little bit off apply adhesive to my triangle and then I can pop that on here and make sure that's stuck down properly and bring in my scraps of cardstock so I'm going to die cut a large tree and a frame with blushing bride and also the small one from mint macaron then I'll also need to cut a frame for the inside of the uh, this frame so I'm just using the pop out from this as a guideline so that I can cut a mat layer for inside the frame. Turn the frame upside down. I've put it on a silicon mat so I don't get glue all over my work surface. And I'm just going to put a thin line of glue around the back of the frame to adhere this mint macaron piece on. Then I want to trim off the foot of the tree. Um, just a little detail so that this box will shut. You probably need to trim that off in line with the box base, like so. Decide which is going to be your front. Um, so I'm going to glue this down to the box. Obviously that's the join there, so you don't want that there. So you want it opposite. Okay. Next you want the smallest tree. I'm going to position next to the mossy meadow tree and this one I will stick up on dimensionals so I'll pop that in between these two like so bring back my frame and stamp 
joy inside it. Next I'm going to put some glue dots on the back of this frame and anchor the silver cord uh, with a bit down there. I've added uh, many dimensionals to it. Make sure that's the right way up. Bring in my box and attach it next to it. Like so. Then I can use the embellishments Then I can add the Her Hershey Kisses into the box. These are really yummy. And they uh, milk chocolate with almonds in them. Then you shut the box. Like so. And there you have the triangular gift box for chocolate with the Whimsical Trees bundle. So I hope you've enjoyed today's project. Um, thanks for joining me today. All the links to the supplies are below this video in the show more section. If you'd like to read more about it, then do hop over to my blog at stampwithelaine.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.